Hey guys, welcome to His Graphics Studio, where graphics is made fun and interesting. My name is Ole Biayo, and today I'll be showing you how to use the pen tool in CoreDraw. First of all, we open up our CoreDraw, we we'll create our new document, we we'll name it Pen. We click OK. Then we'll go to the our left panel, our left panel, which is our toolbox. Then you see our free end tool under our free end tool, the tools used for line drawing. You see our free end tool, then you click the drop down icon, then you see our pen tool. Because today we'll be talking more about our pen tool. Our pen tool is a line drawing tool. You can use it to draw either a straight line or escape or to draw a curvy line. Once you click on the first point, the second point you drag. Then you create a curvy line. And our, if the pen tool allows you to define your own node. This is a node. This other one here is a node. Help you to define your own node by basically adjusting the curve associating with the nodes by the use of these two control points these two control points that is like an arrow basically by using both of them it allows you to adjust your curve so this this um the pen tool can be used to draw either straight or curvy line we can use it to trace out an object we can use it to then create a custom made object too so what what is there is that <clears throat> Like if you have a straight line, we can turn it to curve by simply going to our shape tool, click it, click the middle, then you see our option here in the options bar. You can see here is convert to curve. You want to convert it to curve, you see you have your two control points here, like an arrow. You can see it allows you to adjust the curve. You can see. It allows you to adjust the curve to the point that you want. You can see that. And basically by using this pen tool, we can use it to draw a custom made object. Like let's draw something like that similar to a circle. You drag, you curve it. And once it's curved, it's, it's unable to straight back. Like when you have it before, then you go back to the previous node, then you click on hot and click on it, then it's now straight back. You can see what I'm saying, it's now straight. Then you curve it again, go back to the previous node, curve it again, go back to the previous node. Then you, once you want to close a shape, it will bring out a circle form to show you that the shape is closing. But if you are not closing, if the shape is not yet closed, you not see the circle but if you see the circle you know that the shape is closing up so now it's not ready for you to fill it you can fill it basically by right left clicking you feel your shape you feel your shape you can see you can change the outline outline too by basically right clicking you change the outline so and you can also adjust adjust your shape which you draw with a uh, pen tool with your shape tool. You can basically adjust the node, adjust it with these two control points. You can adjust it easily to suit what you need. You can easily adjust it to suit what you need. And also, you can also delete each node that you have here by simply double clicking on each node. Double clicking on each node, you can delete the node. You can see that you can double click on the each node and you can delete the node. So let's draw out another shape. You can use it to draw a, a rectangle shape. Also, you can use it to draw a triangular shape. So let's first try the rectangle triangular shape. So you click on the first beginning, you go up, you click on it, then you come down to 
almost the same place then you click on it then you close it up then it draws a triangle then you can fill it up you can fill it up you can change it you can also use it to draw a rectangle if you want to get a straight rectangle you hold on shift to make your line straight to make it straight shift then you hold on shift complete your shape you can see that now we'll create a rectangle you can fill it up also you can fill it up also so next i'll be showing you let's bring in some images so i will show you how, how to trace out an object we'll go to our exercise file then we'll pick out this image i'll leave the description below of this image for us to trace to, to follow the exercise so we will trace out an orange simply by following what we did then but for sake of let's show, i will show you two ways that you can either trace it out you can either trace it by following the curve or you can either trace it by following each knot straightly you can let's draw the one straightly first for it each point each point you come here you put points here you come here, you put points here, you come here, you put points here, and you put points here. Then you now come with your shape two and you convert everything to curve. Convert them to curve, then you curve it. Now to zoom in when you are doing all this, all this is better you zoom in. So you see the edges of what you are following. So this need an adjustment. Let's go up here. Okay. Now we are good. So we trace this out by using our straight line with our pen tool. Let's trace the other one by using our curve line. Curve line is somehow tricky. So you start from here, you come to a point, then before you drop the before you drop it, you click and you drag. You hold on to your mouse, you drag, then you come back to the previous node, you click or not, you you go, you drag, you come back to the previous a circle. That means the shape is closing up. So, there are two ways to cut out an object. To, to cut out what you want, there are two ways. You can either power clip it or you can either cut it out. But let me first show you the first one, which is by cutting the object out. When you select your object that you have traced with your pen tool, then select your background. You bring an option here and at our option bar, you see word, you see trim. You see intersect, you see simplify, you see um, front my back minus, and you see back minus front, and you see the union creating boundaries. And for this, we'll be using our intersect because the intersect will intersect according to its name. Intersect what is we draw and the background itself that we want to cut out the image from. So when we click on intersect, it's going to intersect and it's going to cut out our image. You can see that. But the other one I'm talking about is you power clip, you come to your image himself, you right click, then you see power clip in our option, then you go, you see an arrow, then you click on the thing we draw, the shape we draw. You can see the orange is now power clipped inside. You can see this. What is just there be different between the two is that you can both adjust the two, but you can add outline to one and you can't add outline to the other. One is an object, a shape rather that is being power clip an image into, and the other one is just an image that is being cut out. So that is just the difference between this and this. This you can add an outline to. You can add an outline to you can increase the point of your outline. You can see the outline, we add outline to it. You can see, but this cannot be added outline to because it's an it's an image that cannot add be add, add line to. So this this. 
so next we'll bring in an image of a person so we could let's bring in another image for we another image so I will go import you can either drag your image in from your document file or you can either import it you let me try let me show you the other place you come in to your file you see import that is control i then go where your image your document is being located then you you click on it you open you click on the document wherever it's located then you click on the image then you import then you see this then you drag it then your image is being imported to your file to, to your workspace right there. so this now i will show you how to also trace it we trace it the way we trace the orange we we'll come here bring a curve it's advisable for you to zoom in when you are tracing these images So good you are done creating it now then you can power clip it inside so we can add that outline to it increase it you can see it is both it's very interesting very very interesting you can cut out our image in that form or you can also let's bring in our another image of a person so we'll show us how you can trace a person out in corridor zoom in whenever you want to trace What? Then you close it up. Then you can use you can use the two method we talk we spoke about. You can either cut it out or you can either you can either cut it out or you can either you can either power clip it. So let's do the two options. The power clip, let's power clip this one. Power clip it inside your image. Then this, let's intersect it and let's cut it out. You can see it's now being cut out. You see this without no, and this. This power clip, the background is still there, but it's been hidden. But this power clip is cut. You can see if we should enter our edit power clip, you see our image is still there with the background, but it's been hide by our, the shape we created, the custom shape we created by basically um, tracing the image. And this, the image is not there again because we have initially cut it out. So these are all we are for today. Thank you and we'll see you at our next tutorial. My name is Owen.